Bay 93.9, it's the morning crew, Hayden and Millie. We're very proud to be associated with the Barwon Health Foundation this year for their Father's Day project, helping raise awareness for men's mental health. A local dad by the name of Will Ainsworth knows exactly what it's like to go through this journey and then to have help. He's on the phone. Good morning, Will. Morning, Millie and Hayden. Thanks for having me. It's very lovely to have you. Now, each year at Barwon Health, about 1,300 men are treated for mental illness. We know a lot more go through hard things. Can you tell us how your journey into, you know, um, fixing your mental illness and getting support started? Sure thing. Um, So about 10 years ago, uh, unfortunately, my father passed away fairly suddenly and um, that sort of uh, led me to a bit of a spiral of depression um, that was probably looming um, for years before that, but that was sort of the catalyst to break the camel's back, as they say. Um, so I spent a lot of time off work and realised that I needed some um, pretty serious help. So I started to see a psychologist, um, started on antidepressants, uh, started getting my health back into shape. So there was a number of factors that um, got me back to hopefully uh, good mental health. What sort of, I know it's, you know, everyone's completely different, but in terms of time, how, how long did it take before you started to feel a bit of improvement with, with all of the things in process? Uh, probably about six to nine months. Was it, was it hard, Will, to take that initial step? I mean, one of the things that they're trying to raise awareness with for the Father's Day project is it's often difficult for blokes to talk about or to make that step. How did you find that step going to a psychologist and taking some medication? Um, I thought it would be harder than it was. Um, when you get down to the depths of where I was, um, it actually is a pretty easy decision or one that was made probably for me um, because there was not really any other option for me. Um, so... It was, it was an easy decision in the end uh, and then when I realised how helpful they can be, um, I still to date see a psychologist on a regular basis. I'm still on a mild case of antidepressants so it's something that I continue to manage even uh, up until now. Yeah, that's nice. Excellent. So is that uh, like daily, weekly? Do you check on your mental health if there's niggling signs or anything? Do you, is it the sort of thing that you're aware of on a daily basis? Yeah, it's something that I... It's hard to explain to someone who's not completely aware of it, but it's something that I manage like literally every minute of every day. Yeah, um, it's yeah. something that I've become very accustomed to in my own head. Um, and the people around me, particularly my wife, um, knows um, the, the sort of triggers that I have. So I, I, uh, I wouldn't call myself a workaholic, but I certainly don't really have much of an off switch yeah, uh, yeah, when it yeah. comes to work and exercise. So I tend to drive myself into the ground um, quite frequently, so yeah. she's one that certainly identifies that for me. That's good. That's good to know. Um, mate, what does made you decide to support the Barwon Health Foundation's Father's Day project? Um, well, Barwon Health, obviously, being local, um, that's sort of... Uh, I've been a local Geelong boy my whole life, um, so that's important to me. And the Father's Day project, obviously, meaning there's a lot of fathers out there, a lot of males who, as you mentioned earlier, um, struggle to identify and then speak up when they're struggling mentally. Yeah. Um, so if me, teams with um, Barwon Health can get that uh, awareness out there in the general public in Geelong, I think that's um, for the better, uh, greater good for everybody. Yeah. Will, what would you say to partners of blokes who are listening if they see the signs and they find it hard to get their hubbies to speak up or go and get any help? Is there something they can do to help them reach that point where they do reach out? Well, I think just research um, mental health themselves um, because I think everyone has an opinion of it, whether that's right or wrong. Um, And at the end of the day, like everything, the the particular person needs to help themselves before anyone can help themselves. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, help them for them. So um, I think it's just a matter of supporting and and being patient um, and having an awareness that it's not something, it's not a a headache that you can take Panadol and the next day you're fine. Um, It's an ongoing thing. So just have some patience and... Um, an appreciation for what they're going through. Yeah, no, great message. We know that you're a father, you've got three kids, and we know that Father's Day this year with COVID and everything going on, it's going to be a little bit different. What what plans do you have in place for Father's Day for this year? Um, probably what we do most days, and that's just um, take it a little bit easier than we have um, over previous years. Um, we might go for, we live near um, Buckley Falls, so we oh, might yeah. go for a nice walk along there and 
Um, we do pancakes on Sunday, so I'll do much the same again and um, <laughs> really just spend time with the kids, kick the footy and, and do what we all enjoy. Oh, nice. Will, it's been really lovely of you to come on with us this morning and open up about how your journey started and how it may seem hard, but it's the best thing for your mental health to get some help if you need it. The Bowen Health Foundation's Father's Day project is up and running. We'll have this chat and all of the websites on our website a bit later. Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, Aidan. Really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks, Will. If you want to check it out, barwonhealthfoundation.org.au to donate. It's almost 7.30.